Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures, and in today's video, I am gonna repurpose my vintage handkerchiefs. I picked these up at an estate sale, and I'm really drawn to the beautiful monogramming and embroidery, so I thought that I would make some little pouches for lavender sachets to put in my drawers. So I've got some lavender growing outside. I also picked some up at my church rummage sale. I've got these beautiful handkerchiefs. So I'm gonna play around with some different shapes. I might put a liner inside, I might not. I've never done this before, so um, just kind of making it up as I go. But I did wanna show you a simple and easy way to make an envelope and you can do this with paper very very easy because you can make a template or with some fabric so maybe you had a quilt that wasn't in the best shape or some handkerchiefs so what you're going to do is you need a square shape so have the back side facing up and put a point at the top and then you're going to take your side piece and pull it in not to the center but a little bit past the center and then you're gonna do the same thing here. And when I'm ready to make these, I will definitely have my iron on and ready to go because that will help make them more symmetrical and line up better. And then you're gonna take your bottom piece and fold that up. So you've got straight sides, and then you can tuck this underneath and give it a stitch to hold it, and then pull your top down, and then you could have that fit wherever you wanted it to be. If it went here, you could add a nice little vintage mother of pearl button. You could even have it fold and tuck under. You can play around with all of that. But that would just be so nice to store something special or to tuck a, a card, a vintage card, if you didn't have an envelope for it in there, especially for someone who's a vintage lover. I pulled out my iron so I could get things looking nice and neat. This is going to be the finished size. It's about the size of a my wallet, actually. The larger you make these, the more lavender it's going to take. This is about the smallest I could make it with still um, showing off the monogram. So the way that I did this one, a little different than I do um, like a normal envelope, I pulled the corners pretty much all the way to the side. And then instead of just taking the uh, bottom corner here, I took it all the way to the top. With that is that I'm going to sew here and here, and then I'll be able to slip some lavender in this opening and then close it with a, a button closure. And then that way, hopefully the lavender won't be seen too much since this will make two layers and I'll probably put the lavender inside something else as well, just so it doesn't get all over the place. I have flipped it inside out so the right sides are together and with my sewing machine I'm going to sew up the edges so when I open it hopefully it looks nice and neat. Two quick seams up the side. Remember I am not a professional seamstress. I flipped that inside out and now I'm going to give that an iron to flatten it. So I'm going to stuff this with some lavender and put a button on it and call it finished. This handkerchief had a stain, so I decided to cut the monogram out of this one. I am going to use all four layers, so I'm going to uh, put two right sides together. I have a little bit of trim I'm going to add, and I will be making a round sachet. I just finished hand sewing that, so I'm going to flip it inside out. You have to leave a little gap so you can put your uh, lavender in, and then I will sew that space up. And I have this little funnel. I got this free on the side of the road today. I almost left it, but this is going to be perfect because I don't really want to use my uh, kitchen one. So we're going to put the funnel in there and get that lavender inside the sachet. Okay, so then we're, yep, we're going to take the pencil and just kind of help get it down. In this there. is filled with lavender, so I just have to hand sew that shut. But before I do that, I want to make a little pouch to go in here. I think there will be less mess. So this is the leftover hanky from the circular one. So I'm going to zip that up the sides, um, turn it inside out, stuff it, and sew it across the top. I've been able to make a few in different shapes and sizes and I finished each one off with a little mother of pearl button because I wanted to try and hide as best I could the stitches to close them shut. And then we have a little envelope style here. And all I did was just stitch around the hole that I snipped into it. Just ready for a drawer.